how to solve a 4x4 cube using the Young method. Actually, this is my third video on Rubik's Cube. I made two other videos on 3x3 the Rubik's Cube. Just in case you have missed that, I have given the link in the description below. Please feel free to check it out. Before we get into the solving, I'd like to thank all Common Fable subscribers for following our channel. Come on friends, let's get into the solving. Yahoo Method has a total of 5 steps and the first step is to create the white and the yellow center. How we do that is by making bars like this. We pair them and we need to look for another pair. There it is. Let's pair them. Let's look for a yellow centerpiece. There's one and let's pair them. They're diagonal, which is not what we want. We need them paired and we just need them to be opposite of white. And we're almost done. And we're done. Two is to make all the other centers. Let's do step two. And we need to follow a specific pattern. And the first one, the first center is gonna be blue. And we need the white side on our left hand. Let's see. Yeah, we're going to put it on our left hand and the yellow side needs to be on our right hand. And we need to pair the blue edge, I mean center, and pair another blue center. And let's pair them. And we need to put them together now. So, and on top of blue should be orange. So we need to pair the orange center and put it on top of blue. Let's pair it and you see, we need it to be next to it, not across it. So let's turn the cube, put these two layers, spin it, and we have blue, uh, top of it, orange, green. Here should be green and let's do the algorithm again and blue, orange, green, red. Let's move on to step three. It's time to make the white edges. That's step three. Let's pair the white edges. So we're going to do that like this. Let's pair the blue edge first. And we're going to need them to be in the opposite layers, not the same layer. And they're opposite, so let's pair them. Do the right hand algorithm, put the restore the center, put the edge to the white side. Do that for all the other edges remaining. And we ha already have an edge paired, the green and white edges paired. So let's put it to the white face and let's do the orange white and the orange edge. Again, we need them to be in the opposite layers, not the same layers, they're opposite. Let's pair them, do the right hand algorithm. Restore the centers, put it to the white side, and we only have blue left. Let's do it, let's find the blue edges. There's one, and where's the other one? There it is, I did a right hand algorithm to get it out. Let's pair them, do the right hand algorithm, restore the centers, and put it to the white side. And the sequence is still there. And the white cross is also there. Let's move on to step four. Let's do all the other edges. That's step four. We're in the last and final step. And that step is to pair all the other edges. So we have red and green edge here. We need to find another red green edge and put it in the opposite layer. There it is, let's put it in the opposite layer. Not the same layer. Uh, 
We're going to do the, right, the left hand algorithm, they're in the same layer. Um, we're going to do the right hand algorithm now. And we had two edges paired during that time. And so let's do another edge. I'm going to do the blue orange, I mean the red and blue edge. Let's pair it, restore the centers. And we just need to do the orange and blue edge. So they're the opposite layer, pair it. The right, the right hand algorithm, restore the centers. And we did, we need one more edge. Let's pair it. Now we need to do the rest using three to three edge pairing. So, it basically means we're going to put them in the same layer, turn the two slices or the topmost layers to the red side, do the right hand algorithm, turn the cube, do the left hand algorithm, restore the centers, and we're going to pair the edges now. We're in the final step now. I'm going to orient the edges and corners. Let's orient the edges. I'm going to orient the, oh, it's already oriented. So let's do the red and green one. We're going to do the right hand algorithm a few times. Put it in, left side up, top face to the left, put it down. We're going to do the, blue, the green, and orange, edge next. Let's do the left hand algorithm a few times and put it in. Now we're ha we are on the last edge, which is blue and red. Let's do the right hand algorithm a few times and we're going to put it in. Now let's do the yellow face. We ended up with an OLL parity algorithm, so we're going to do an OLL parity algorithm to fix it, which is RU2. We're just gonna keep doing RU2 until it is solved again. Let's do it. Our prime U2 sometimes. R U2. It's gonna be a long algorithm. So, Let's see, we're still not done. We need to do it a few more times still. Let's see. R, U2, still not done. Don't worry friends, it's very common. We can't give up. Uh, let's do R, U2 again. R, U2. U2 again, R2, U2 prime, U2 prime again, U2, R, U2 prime, R, U2, R, U2, R prime, U2, if you're not sure about this algorithm, you can also check out my two videos on 3x3 three three because there you can know how to read the algorithms. And also see the algorithm that I have given in the description so you can also do it. Apostrophe means counterclockwise as well. Let's see. You too. I'm doing the front two times as well. Again, we can't give up yet, friends, because it might be hard when you first see it because of how long it is. But for me, it was also hard and it turned out to be super easy. Let's keep doing the algorithm. I think this is the final part. Let's see. Uh, 
and mm, we are I think we're all done just a few more times well yes we are so super close to getting done yes we did the algorithm now we just got to pair the edges again because they got switched it's very easy to do and we just got to do the edges again pair the edges one more time I'm going to start with the orange green edge pair it put it in now let's see I think we're going to do the yes we're going to do the green and red edge first this is our second edge let's see have two more I just to pair let's pair it. so I think I'm going to do the blue orange one next let's see put it in and we only have the red and blue edge to pair We're going to do the algorithm and we made the yellow cross we're super close to getting done we just need to orient the edges on and corners for the last yellow face we're going to match it this is similar to the three by three algorithm do the left hand algorithm three times then the right hand algorithm three times and then turn the cube upside down because we have all the corners oriented. Do the right hand algorithm. Keep doing that. This is similar to a three by three because this is what we do when we pair the last edges. And we solved it. Wow. It might be hard at first try. For me, it was also hard, but Eventually, it became easy because I kept pra practicing and never gave up. That's it, friends. Wow, how's that? I hope you enjoyed the video. Please subscribe my channel, share with friends, and also press the bell icon. I'll see you guys again. Bye-bye.